Yeah, Paul, I'll well, have you know the next question comes from one of the great Collingwood supporters of this community. <laughs> yeah. And it's officially, uh, the heavy rolls out, it's officially cricket season, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Julian. I, uh, uh, I'm still a bit flat because when you said there was a younger person asking a question, I had my hand up. I thought it was me. <laughs> anyway, we'll go on to the question. This for you, Paul. Two questions. First one will be fairly short, I imagine. Um, is there pipe music in the project? <laughs> Secondly, uh, I know the land of it, uh, the time of entitlement's over, uh, so I've been told in terms of government funding. How are we going to attract that state and federal government funding with the budgets being extremely tight? Um, your first question in relation to uh, the council's decision in relation to to providing what is essentially a public address system in the mall area. Um, council made some decisions in relation to that. Um, subsequent to that, they have now determined that we are going to trial some um, Wi-Fi in the mall over this summer. Um, and, as, and as part of that, uh, the funding to, to do that will come from that, that allocation we put aside for some mall improvements. And then once that's done, we will then go back to council and, and discuss further what other improvements that we'll actually then provide within the mall. Um, the, the other question in relation to... Uh, government funding. Government funding, yes. Um, the, the opportunity for government funding comes and goes. Um, I've been in local government longer than I want to say. Uh, probably about 25, 30 years. And there have been times when there's been lots of government funding around, there's been times when there's very little government funding. It's very competitive, the government funding. The regional uh, assistance for, for local communities, uh, there's going to be a significant amount of money that's going to be allocated by the federal government in subsequent budgets. The first um, lot of that is the 15-16 financial year and we will be doing all we can to actually make sure that this project is in front of the people who make those decisions, uh, that this is a community that de deserves to get some funding to assist it in following through on the plans that it's got. Most of these type of uh, grant applications are, are requiring you to, de to demonstrate that you've actually done the planning. Well, the planning is actually happening. It's about actually being, being able to say, we're actually show already, we can go with this. Uh, and so I think that there will certainly be federal government funding into the future. Um, and we're only two years away from the next federal election. And we'll obviously need to make the most of those opportunities as they arise as well. And Jared, I'd also say that um, there was, Premier was here at the official launch and he stated for the record clearly, and we quite him on it, that they are committed to it. Um, so there's no doubt that, that there's a state government commitment and there's currently a couple of bureaucrats in Hobart scratching their head uh, working out how they're going to be able to do it, but uh, the Premier's definitely committed.